In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can install and set up feature counts on a Linux or Mac OS system. For those who don't know, feature counts is a tool that is used to quantify RNA seq data. So at the end of the day, what you get is a read count data. Feature count is part of the subread package. So if you want to install feature count, you need to install the subread package and get the count as well. For this tutorial, we are going to install using Anaconda. So we will use the instructions here. You can use this, this, but I will use a slightly modified version of this command here. You can also use this command. So any of the commands here should work fine for you. And so for this tutorial, you need to make sure you have a Unix like operating i.e. Linux or Mac OS. You should also have Anaconda installed that system. I have tutorials that show how to install Anaconda. So you can watch those videos to set up your PC. There is a video for Linux users. There is also a video for Mac OS. Make sure you check the description. Use the appropriate video. So let's proceed. We will go to the terminal now and then install feature. Okay, I am on the terminal now. Again, make sure you have installed Anaconda. Instructions for installing Anaconda can be found in the description. So what we are going to do first is to add a Conda channel. We are going to add Bioconda. You say Conda config add channels. Add the channel which is Bioconda. We can also list the channels we have on our system. And say Conda config channels so we have bioconda there so this means that we have successfully added the bioconda channel the default channel counts package with anaconda so we leave it as it is now we are going to create an environment and install the count that environment so we are not going to name feature count itself but we will use subread so we will say conda creates dash n to indicate the environment name. Then we are going to give the name of the environment. So we we'll say RNA tick. Then we will indicate the tool or the tools we want to install. In this case, we are going to install subread. So we we'll say sub. So let's run this command. We will now type Y to confirm. Then Conda will download all the necessary packages and store them for us. So let's wait for Conda to come. Okay, Conda has successfully installed the subread package. So we now have access to feature count as well. So if you want to use feature count, you need to make sure you have activated the environment in which you installed it. In this case, ours is RNA sick. So if you want to use feature counts, you have to use this command to activate the environment and run it. If you want to deactivate the environment, you can use this one. So let's test feature counts. So this means we have to activate the environment. In case you have forgotten the name of the environment, you can say conda and fixed. This will list the environment you have and you can choose the one that you want to. In this case, we are using RNA stick. So I will say conda it's RNA sick. And then we will execute the command. So we now have our environment activated. So we can run the second command. We will just type feature counts. So we will say feature counts. Okay, so this is how we use feature counts. So we are only calling feature counts just to check that it has. Called. So we will execute this command. Perfect. So now we have successfully installed feature count. So this is how you use Anaconda to install feature count. So if you are done using feature counts, you can deactivate the environment by saying Conda deactivates. So that's how we do it. So anytime you want to run feature counts again, you just have to activate the environment. So this is how. It. So now that you are done with installing feature counts, you also need to watch this video that shows you how to quantify RNA signature using 